Okay, I'm back with another video for a book review. I'm not sure if it's any value added, me doing these videos, but hey, I'm just going to keep doing them because I'll get better at it. But I want to get started with this hopefully quick video. I'll try to keep it under five minutes. Now, normally when I review videos, or review videos, when I review books, I try to keep it, uh, the books, I try to keep them from books that are recommended in, in DOD leadership type of reading lists. A lot of those are normally what we're kind of told in the military, or maybe in the civilian sector, in, the, in some kind of DOD or DHS or Department of State, whatever you're at, I don't know. Maybe you, you work at Costco and they have leadership books as well. So normally, that's kind of the intent with this, with this uh, book club that I do, is pick those books that our leaders recommend for us to read and read them, and then see how good they are, and kind of just keep building that perspective, keep building that range, which I'm about to get into right now. But this book today, I deviated from that, and I chose a book by none other than Bill Gates. This guy is a maniac. He reads hundreds of books a year, probably, and memorizes all of them. I kind of envision him as Rain Man. But he came out with a reading list, and on that reading list, he only had six books on there. So as I was glancing through his reading list, I noticed that there is one called Range, okay, which is this one. All right, so Range by David Epstein. Why Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World. Right off the bat, that caught my attention for one main reason. And the reason for that is it talks about generalists triumphing in a specialized world. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying where, there, where it's, hey, I'm a jack of all trades, master of sun, something along those lines. Not saying that I'm, I'm exactly like that, but I've always felt similar to that saying. I've always felt that I'm pretty good at a lot of things, but I don't specialize in anything. And I've always thought of that as being not ideal, right? You have people out there that are at my age, right? I'm, I'm not going to say my age, but I'm older now. And there's people who started off in high school and already knew what they wanted to do, got into university, did what they wanted to do, got their master's, got into a a corporation or some kind of business and early on they specialized they got what they need to do they're successful now and you know my perspective on that is all right well that's what kind of success is as opposed to me over here I'm you know doing in the military and I'm being a cop and then right now I'm a executive assistant and then the things I do on my off time are just all these crazy hobbies and all these crazy things and I've, I've felt like, hey, how is that going to benefit me being such a generalist? But this book talks all about all of that, and it actually kind of counters what I thought would be uh, right or wrong. So kind of generally speaking, this book talks about how specialization is good, right? You, there is a time and place for specialization or as we say in the military, right, subject matter experts, there is, there is a, a place for them. But what we don't talk about is the place and need for generalists. Meaning, you can have someone, you can be in an office that specializes in underwater basket weaving. And that's cool, you can hire a bunch of people who specialize in that, went through years and certifications and did all kinds of stuff, but you would also benefit having a, a carpenter uh, join your team or having a, a, who knows, Gordon Ramsay join your team or whatever the case may be, somebody outside, completely outside the scope of, scope of, of specialization. Why? Because there'll be a time when you're weaving those baskets underwater and you encounter a problem. When you encounter that problem, normally we problem solve from the inside right? Meaning the people who are part of that team who specialize and know all the same things, they're going to try to solve this problem. But what happens when you can't solve that problem and you're stuck on a problem? Well, that's where generalists come in. Generalists have the ability to look from the outside in 
and bring about creative ways of, of problem solving. And there's a bunch of examples in this book. They talk about, uh, they talk about golf. They talk about Tiger Woods. They make fun of the book Grit by Angela Duckworth. They also, uh, the author also talks about um, artists, painters, just a, a, just a plethora of examples and to showcase that the value of being a generalist. So if that's something that may interest you or you kind of feel the same way, then I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. If I were to rate this book one out of five stars, then I would rate it five stars. And for me personally, that means that I would reread the book and I would gift the book if I had an extra coffee or copy or, or something like that. Uh, I highly recommend it. I enjoyed it a lot. And hopefully somebody goes out there and reads it and could kind of gain a new perspective like I have. And that's what I, what I like most about this book is be, because it's, complete, it's given me a complete new perspective on being a generalist something that I didn't have before. And that's why I find books so beneficial. Reading these, it just kind of, even incrementally, increases my perspective on things. And now, if I'm ever in a position where I'm in a work center that specializes in all these crazy things, and maybe we're hiring someone or trying to bring someone on the team that doesn't fall in line with what you think that culture is or what that specialization is, well, there's advantages to it, and I understand that now. So hopefully this video was a little bit beneficial. I think I went over my time. It's hard to do this in five minutes. I talk way too much. But yeah, if you have any questions or have any recommendations for future videos or future books, then let me know. I'm open to discussing whatever. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. And until next time.